Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is have a look at exporting our, hmm, let's say, morph targets for damage. Okay, it's, trust me, it is very, very easy, but there are a few things you have to consider before doing this. Now, the first thing is, whatever mesh you exported to be your, your PSK, uh, the mesh that you've imported as the main model mesh, whatever you want to call it, into UDK, that is what you've got to use for your morph targets. You are not allowed to change anything. And when I say change, I don't mean move around or whatever. What I mean is that do not add or delete anything. No faces, no edges, no vertices. Okay, so long as we've got that clear, we'll be happy. And please remember, it is so important. Okay, right. Let's get on with it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just make sure I have got the correct mesh here. Looking at it, yep, looks fine. SK VH BC car 04 blender. Now you might say, why on earth is checking this? Well, the way things work for me at the moment is that I'm on two different computers. Yeah, so I'm trial and testing on one, moving content onto the next, and sometimes uh, I'm not extremely organized so it can go a little bit pear-shaped anyway let's get on with this the first thing we want to do here is mm, yeah pregnant pause i know i'm just thinking making sure i get this the right way round. okay what we're going to do first is we've loaded the mesh that we exported as a psk yeah so now what we're going to do is go to file, save as. Now I'm going to do something here which you might think, mm, is that necessary? I'll show you why in a minute. All right, I'm going to save it as a separate file, dam front. Yeah, I'm going to save that as a blender file. Save, go on, thank you. Right, now... The reason why I've done this before I do anything else is to make sure I don't mess up the original mesh. Yeah? I've done, trust me, I've done it before. I've been doing this for years and it's a mistake. Unfortunately, this old guy tends to make every now and then. Luckily, I do, as you, as you can see, I was on number four. I do try to make a lot of backups because I know what I'm like. Anyway, let's get on with this. All right, we're going to hit 7, which puts us in the top mode. Top ortho. We're going to zoom out a little bit. Well, what I'm going to do is hold shift, middle mouse button, center up the front nose area. Let's go for there. Now, all you have to do for your damage morph targets is move your vertices yeah so what we're going to do here is I've got the mesh selected hitting tab to go into edit mode I'm going to go down onto vertex selection mode I'm going to enable proportional editing doesn't do anything any good because I can't remember how to change the values on that it probably is somewhere I have seen it. I'm going to have to have a look at the buzz videos again. 3D buzz. We've got some good ready videos on uh, Blender and the free. Hey, can't beat that, can you? Anyway, next thing we're going to do, because if you've never, not, never done this, all right, hit A to deselect all. I'm going to hit Z. Z puts us into wireframe. Now, the way Blender's set up, the I'm not I'm not knocking it. I'm still getting my head around this. Is that if you're in this mode and you select here, I'm going to do a box select. Yeah, do a box select on there. Now that only selects the top 
are the vi the visible vertices. It doesn't select the ones underneath. Uh, what was it? Uh, back face culling. Th th that term comes to mind. So what we have to do is go into Z. I'm going to hit A to deselect everything again. Hit B for box select. Select all them. Push them back so it looks really, really blatant. Now I'm going to go out of that mode. I'm going to get, well, that was Z again. Tab again. Now I'm just going to wiggle this round. So we've got a very, it, it looks ugly, but the reason I've done this is to show you how it's done and make it extremely blatant. I hope that when you do your vehicles, you're going to spend a little bit more time than what I have doing this. Now, all we have to do now, with the vehicle selected, you can either use the Unreal tools here, which for some reason on this version, this setup I've got, comes up OK. If not, go on to File, go on to Export, Skeletal Mesh Animation Data, PSK, and click on that. Now you'll notice straight away on the, the name for the export, it goes to SKVHBC Car Dam Front. Okay, that's why I changed the name. Well, one of the reasons. So I can just export that. Takes a while. No errors. Quickly save. And we're happy. That's the front one exported. So very, very quickly, open recent, go to number four, uh, seven, let's see, pan to the back, select the mesh, edit mode, wireframe, deselect all, hit B, select that lot move them forward makes it look extremely ugly so uh, no because the wheels are under there so I'll leave that as that is okay so back out of wireframe back out of edit mode now I can if I want turn this around being very carefully with the mi middle mouse now, as you can see, a boo booed already. I haven't saved it, so I'll have to very quickly save as. Should do this at the beginning. Yeah. Because I very nearly overwrote this file. Right, so what was I going for? Uh, dam rear. Dot. It's a blender file. And save as a blender. Okay, smashing. Now, if you can see there, it looks very cruddy, but I'm not. I'm doing this just to show you how to do it. Remember that it's not something you're going to see in a professional uh, pay-for game. You never know. Once I get everything done, I might just release the whole thing as a game and let you play with it and think, yeah, okay. Then. Right. Anyway, let's get on with this. Uh, export. There we go comes up straight away damn rear export fine thank you happy as that let's just save that I'll go back into recent er, blend go into top ortho hitting the 7 key uh, selecting the mesh right click er, tab into edit mode A into Deselect all yet again. I've done it again. Save as before I forget. Damn, uh, right. Hit return, save as. Fine. Now back in here, go into wireframe, go into. I think that's where I went wrong the last time. With the rear one, I still had it on faces. Go on to vertex, it makes it a little bit easier. I suppose you could put enable whatever, right? Box select, select them, and box select, 
select them, move them in. It looks pretty cruddy hitting a deselect box. Should have done the separate bit of rotate, bit of grab. There we go. That'll do for that. Now again, back out, edit mode, file. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, export. Now I know what you're going to see is just hit the export button in the toolbar. Now I've found that I'm just going to hit export because the name is fine. I've found that on my other setup, that part of the toolbar, well, like like that now, it's just disappeared. Why? I don't know. If I select it, oh there you go. Select the mesh, it comes back. Hmm interesting <laughs> okay learn something new every day right let's just very quickly make sure i resave that go back into here open recent blend 4 I'm not going to make the mistake again save as up there delete that damn left so that's the only one that we haven't done hit return Save as a Blender file. Hit 7 to get in the author pe Oh, I can't even pronounce it, so I won't go there. All right, in the top view. <laughs> All right, select the mesh. Edit mode. Into vertices. Now, I'm going to enable that. It doesn't do me much good. Hit A to deselect all. Hit B to do a box select. Now, I'm going to box it. See, see what happens there, all right? Because I haven't gone into wireframe. It's selected the top vertices and not the underlying ones. So I'm going to hit Control Z, uh, hit A to deselect all, hit Z, hit B. There we go, and move them in there like that. Now hitting A again to deselect all, hit B, box select, move, hit R to rotate, now I'm not going to scale them, we don't want that, so hit Z out of wireframe, hit tab out of up, edit mode, let's try this, right, we've, this is it, because I've already saved the name there, let's go to export, and it should have exported correctly. Now I'm just going to save that. Cancel. Save. Now if I go into export, I'm just... See, it's not letting me export because I haven't got anything selected. Now if I just go into export, skeletal mesh data, and see we've exported a damaged left. And that's fine because the file sizes look the same so we're all singing and dancing fantastic now that's it now that is all we have to do for your morph targets in blender i'll be doing a, a video shortly within the next day or two of linking well importing your morph targets into udk uh, linking them up in the anim tree and obviously in the code as well. So until then, bye bye now. And uh, actually remembering this time, this is where the buttons are. See you soon.